making your own battery pack is very handy because it's a lot cheaper and it allows you to increase the voltage or current as you see fit but this could also be dangerous as batteries could get on fire If you want to know how to test the 18650 battery cell, then watch my following video. Each cell has a voltage of 4.2 when fully charged, a nominal voltage of 3.7 and 3 volts when discharged. You really shouldn't discharge a cell below 3 volts, as that reduces the life expectancy or even cause fire. Connecting the batteries in series means you connect the plus and the minus and that will add up the voltage. In this case, three batteries will make 12.6 volts when it's, they are fully charged, 11.1 volts nominal and 9 volts when discharged. Connecting them in parallel means you add up the amps, which increases the capacity. For example, if one battery has 2000 milliamp hour then connecting three batteries in parallel will make a total of 6000 milliamp hour while keeping the same voltage as one battery you can also combine the two thus increasing the voltage and amps for example in this setup we have doubled the voltage which makes 8.4 volts when fully charged and a nominal voltage of 7.4 volts and 6 volts when discharged. As for capacity, it's tripled, which makes 6000 milliamp hour when each cell has 2000. For example, this is a 10 cell battery pack that I've made using old cells. There is no parallel connection made here, but I'm working on a big, bigger battery pack for which I'll create a separate video later.